Hello, Grand Park community. It's Courtney, your yoga teacher for the park. I'm really glad you're here today to practice. It's so, so important to make time for ourselves to regroup, to reconnect, so we can better show up to others and the world. And today we are going to be focusing on anchoring the moment in the breath, anchoring all our postures in the breath. The breath is a really powerful way, in my opinion, to feel our connection to the body, to feel ourself connected to the moment. It is our life force. Um, it can be a deep root for us anytime we need a reset. Um, I come to my breath all the time in my life out of outside my mat just to um, regroup, to tell my body that I'm safe, that I'm okay. Um, and we'll be doing a little bit of that today, but really trying to move from the place of the breath. Um, for those of you who are new or those of you who are not new, um, in yoga, we always inhale, exhale, and move with the breath. Um, so instead of like, you know, taking an inhale and rising our arms up, we try to connect the movement to take up the space of the whole breath. So we'll be focusing a lot on that today. So before we start any physical movement, let's just find a seat. So finding a place where you can be comfortable in your body. You could do this part lying down. You could do this part in a chair. If you are seated on a chair, make sure that your feet are touching the earth. If you're seated on the ground, really feeling whatever is touching down and allowing the body to meet that. If you're lying on your back, letting the whole body feel supported. And then let's just soften the eyes closed here. And just noticing what the breath is doing. So we're not shifting the breath yet. Maybe noticing where the breath is. So is the breath in the nose? Is the breath coming in and out of the mouth? Where is the breath taking up space in the body? Is it filling into the chest, the belly, somewhere else? Is the breath full or is it shallow? And then here, I'm gonna ask you to connect with your breath, to take a little bit of ownership over your breath. So that might mean just noticing the breath. That might mean slowing down the breath. And maybe notice what happens in the mind when you feel your connection to breath. We're gonna to start to take some breaths together. So we'll start pretty simply. We'll start with three inhales and exhales through the nose. And let your exhale come all the way out through your nose, inhale for two, three, four, pause your breath, two, three, four, exhale breath, two, three, four, hold out, two, three, Four, inhale, two, three, four, pause your breath, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold out, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, pause breath, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold out, 
two, three, four, and then just allow your breath to come back in however it wants. Maybe soften your eyes back open. And just noticing if there's any shift in the way that you feel after just drawing some awareness and taking some breaths. So from here, we're gonna come to a stand. This is where we're gonna start to really connect our breath with our movement. So just like I said at the top of the video, I really want us to try to do our best to allow inhales and exhales to take up the whole space of the breath. So we're gonna be doing lots of sun salutations today. I want you to take care of yourself. If you notice that the breath is out of sync with the movements, you can always come down to child's pose, you can come to mountain pose and just regain control of your breath. Um, and I really want you to do that, to take to use the breath as an indicator of when you need to regroup. So taking your hands down to the sides, feet are hips distance, that's two fists. If you want to take your hands down to measure your feet, or you can look down where your hips are and let your ankles be underneath your hips. So first, just allowing the shoulders to come away from your ears, the heart slightly lifts, the feet are anchored down. Let a full exhale release from the body. As you inhale, draw your arms tall. Let it take up the entire space of your inhale. And then as you exhale, bending your knees, fold your heart forward, release your head. As you inhale, hands to shins, heart lifts. Entire inhale expands you to a halfway lift. As you exhale, release your hands, release your head, forward fold. Inhale, draw your arms tall to the sky. As you exhale, hands come into your heart. We're gonna do that two more times. Inhale, arms reach tall. Exhale, full fold, matching the length of the exhale. Inhale, hands to shins, heart reaches forward. Exhale, forward fold, release your head. Inhale, draw your arms tall to sky. Exhale, hands come to your heart. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, body folds, release your head. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold, release your head. Inhale, draw your arms tall to the sky. Exhale, hands come to your heart, adding on. Inhale, arms draw tall. Exhale, forward fold, release your head. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, hands go down, feet go back to a plank. Exhale, hips go up, downward dog. Inhale, right foot steps, back foot spins flat. Same inhale carries you up. Exhale, hands go down, plank to your downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot steps, back foot spins flat, carry it up. Exhale, hands go down, left foot goes back, hips to sky, downward facing dog. So that's going to be our flow. So if down dog does not feel like a resting pose, you can come into child. So knees come wide, big toes come together to touch, sink your hips back for your heels and allow your forehead to rest. So we're gonna come into five of these flows. We're gonna let the entire length of our inhale and exhale take up the space of the movement. 
If at any point, again, you feel disconnected from your breath and your movement, please either come to mountain pose or child's pose and regain control of your breath. If you're ready to move, look towards your hands, step, step your feet. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Here we go, round one. Inhale, arms rise tall. Exhale, hands come to the heart. Inhale, arms rise to the sky. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plank to downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot steps, warrior one. Exhale, hands go down, plank, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot steps, back foot spins flat, warrior one. Exhale, hands go down, plank, downward facing dog or child's pose. So we're always going to take a little pause to regroup with the breath to see if we need to take more rest before we move on to the next round. So option to rest or round two, look towards your hands, step your feet. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, hands go to heart. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands go down, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot steps, warrior one. Exhale, hands go down, plank, down dog. Inhale, left foot steps, warrior one. Exhale, hands go down, plank, downward facing dog. We rest here or child's pose. Regather your breath. Deciding if you need to stay here and connect with your breath or moving into round three of five. Looking towards your hands, step, step, feet. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise your arms to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, rise the arms. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands go down, plank, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot steps, press down, warrior one. Exhale, hands go down, plank, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot steps, back foot spins flat, warrior one. Exhale, hands go down, plank, downward facing dog. Recollect your breath. It might help to soften the eyes closed, feel the breath moving from the inside. Deciding if you need rest, please take rest. Please keep connecting with breath. If this kind of flowing is helping you really get in connection with your breath, we're coming into round four of five. Look towards your hands, step, step your feet. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. 
Inhale, draw your arms tall. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, arms go tall. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands go down, plank, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot steps, back foot spins flat, warrior one. Exhale, hands go down, plank, downward facing dog, letting it take up the whole exhale. Left foot steps, back foot spins flat, keep inhaling all the way up. Exhale, hands go down, plank, downward facing dog or child's pose. So regather the breath. Using the breath as the anchor for the moment. Please rest and connect with your breath if you need it. If you'd like to come in for this last round, looking towards your hands, step, step the feet. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms go to the sky. Exhale, hands come to the heart. One breath, one movement. Inhale, arms reach tall. Let your whole exhale fold the body. Let your whole inhale halfway lift. Let your whole exhale take you back plank, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot steps, back foot spins flat, all the way up. Exhale, hands go down, plank, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot steps, back foot spins flat, warrior one. Exhale, hands come down, plank, downward facing dog, five foot. Full breaths here or child's pose. Really feeling that connection to your breath. From here, we're going to start on our left leg this time. As you inhale, step your left foot in between your hands. Back foot spins flat. Press down into your feet. Make your way into your warrior two. So we're in heel to arch alignment with the feet. The heel of the front foot is in the arch of the back foot, reaching the fingertips out from your shoulders. We're going to connect some breath and movement here. So this will be our exhale. As you inhale, lengthen, straighten your left leg, arms reach to the sky, and then exhale, warrior two. Two more times. Inhale, lengthen, extend. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, lengthen, extend. Exhale, warrior two. We're gonna take that left forearm to the left thigh, reach your right fingertips over. Breathing space along the entire right side of the body. So here we pause, but we keep breathing within. And then we're not gonna do it yet. But when I say inhale up to warrior two, instead of just coming to warrior two, I want you to wait for your next inhale and make your way into warrior two. So inhale back to warrior two. Exhale, right hand comes down, left arm reaches skyward. So sinking into reverse warrior, 
We're going to do the same thing. I'm going to say inhale to warrior two. And instead of just moving into warrior two, I want you to use your next inhale to move to warrior two. So here we go. On your inhale, making your way to warrior two. Really nice. Let's lengthen the left leg straight. Left toes come in, right toes come back. So we're finding warrior two on the right, sinking deeply into our heel to arch alignment, reaching your fingertips out, and we'll do all that on this side. So this will be our exhale. As you inhale, lengthen your right leg, arms come to the sky. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, warrior two. Right forearm goes to right thigh, left arm goes to the sky. We'll take a few breaths here and then we're going to practice that inhaling back to warrior two thing. So I know it's really easy. I do it all the time when I'm taking classes, when I teach your cues the next pose to just get into the next pose. But it can be a really beautiful practice when we work with our own breath cycle to move in and out of shapes. So here we go. On your next inhale, coming back to warrior two. On your next exhale, making your way to reverse warrior. So right arm comes up and back. We're staying in the deep bend of the right thigh. Left hand goes down to the back of the left thigh. On your next inhale, warrior two. Hands come to frame your right foot. Step it back, downward facing dog. And then from here, let's find a child's pose. So big toes come together to touch, sinking your hips back for your heels, settling your forehead down. Using your next inhale to press yourself up. From here, we're going to come to legs up something. So legs up the wall, legs up a cabinet, legs up a closet door. I really like using closet doors because they're usually free of things that could fall on us. So we're going to come to whatever you're taking your legs up. So make sure it's a space where someone's not going to walk through the door or where there's a lot of stuff that could fall. Allow, it doesn't matter which way you come in, one hip, one shoulder to come in. Come down to your elbows and then make sure your hip and your shoulder are tucked tightly into whatever you're taking your legs up. And then keeping that connection to the wall, the door, the cabinet, whatever you're using, take your feet up. So we're in an L pose. Our bottoms are close, if not on top of the closet door or wall. And if your hips are way out away, do take the time to come back down and set yourself up so you don't have to hurt your back, kind of crawling into the shape. You can also do this pose on a chair. Um, if you have a chair that doesn't have a back, um, you know, like a little hole in the chair, you could um, rest your shins on the actual seat and have your legs up something that way. You could also take your legs and rest them on the couch. So from here, we're going to take the arms however they feel most comfortable in our body today. So maybe the arms come wide, maybe the hands come on the body. I'll invite us all to soften the eyes closed. If that doesn't feel okay, you could take a soft gaze at one point on the ceiling. And then this is a restorative pose, but we're going to add an awareness of our breath to it. So by giving our mind a focus, we can stay present and engaged in the moment that we're in. So I'm going to be quiet for a few minutes here and give us all the space to connect with our breath. 
And anytime we notice that we're doing something that is not noticing our breath, we don't beat ourselves up. We just notice that our mind is somewhere else. And we draw our mind back to focusing on the breath. And I'll chime in a few times to remind us, but otherwise I'll be quiet. Focusing on the breath. Focusing on your breath. be here for one more minute, drawing our attention on watching ourselves breathe. So from here, if your eyes are closed, softening the eyes open, starting to slide your heels down the wall, bending your knees, resting the soles of the feet against the wall or the closet or the bureau, whatever you're putting your legs up. From here, Rolling over to one side, making a little pillow for your head with your inner arm. And just take a little pause there. And then using your free hand to press yourself up, we'll come back to our mat. And we're going to come to a couple more things to connect breath with movement here. So making your way onto your back, we're gonna come into a few flowing bridge poses. So letting your knees bend, letting your heels rest underneath your knees, fingertips should be able to graze your heels. And so what we're gonna do for our bridge poses today is we're gonna inhale and lift everything, including our arms up and overhead. And then as we exhale and set the hips down, the arms will come back down over towards the feet. So we'll do that five times. Whenever we press up, use your bottom, use your thighs. So using all those strong muscles in the body to do the work. 
So let your exhale come all the way out. As you inhale, press into your feet, rise your thighs. Arms come up and over the head. As you exhale, let the whole breath set you back down. Four more times. Inhale, lift. Arms come up and overhead. Exhale, set everything down. Let it take up the space of your exhale. Inhale, rise it up. Exhale, set it down. Inhale, rise it up. Exhale, set it down. One more time. Inhale, rise it up. Exhale, set it down. Feet come at least as wide as your mat. If you don't have a mat wider than the hips, knees come in to kiss. Take a breath or two. And then take your feet back to hip distance. Fingers should be able to graze your heels. Next inhale, rise your right foot tall. Next exhale, right ankle crosses over the left thigh. So we're in our figure four. So if your right hip is already feeling a lot of stretch, you're welcome to stay here. You're also welcome on your next inhale to pull your left knee in towards your left shoulder and find an interlace maybe below your left knee or to the back of the left thigh. So keeping the low back down. So here we're really gonna connect with our breath as a way to energize and release tension. So whenever I say inhale, bring in energy to your right hip. Whenever I say exhale, we're gonna take a Full release and try to let something go. We'll do five breaths on this side and then we'll switch. So let your exhale come all the way out. Through your nose, inhale into your hip. Through your nose, exhale and release. That's one. Through your nose, inhale into your hip. Through your nose, exhale to release. Inhale into the hip. Exhale, release from the hip. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. This time fully exhale, release out of this side. Inhale, left foot goes tall to the ceiling. Exhale, left ankle crosses over right thigh. Check in with your left hip here. So maybe we stay here. Maybe on your next inhale, you draw your right knee towards your right shoulder. You find an interlace below your right knee to the back of the right thigh. Remember, you can always put the right foot down if it's too much. You want to find a place where we can breathe fully and freely to release tension from the left hip. So from here, let your exhale go. As you inhale, bring in energy to that hip. As you exhale, releasing something from the hip. That's one. Inhale into the hip. Exhale, release from your hip. That's two. Inhale into the hip. Exhale, releasing from your hip. Inhale into your hip. 
Exhale, releasing from your hip. Inhale into your hip. Exhale, releasing from your hip. Inhale, breathing into your hip. Exhale, releasing from your hip. Release both your feet down to the floor. From here, hugging your knees in, making yourself into a little ball. You can rock your hips back and forth. You could draw your chin into your knees, giving yourself a final squeeze. And then as you exhale, releasing yourself into a comfortable position on your back. From here, really allowing your body to sink down, allowing your body to be held up by the earth. If your eyes aren't closed, I'd really recommend softening the eyes closed to give your eyes a break from looking at the screen. From here, we're just gonna use this energy of breath to soften and release in the body. So here, I'd like you to do a little scan of yourself. And maybe notice any area of the body that is feeling tight, tired, closed off. It could be an energetic thing. It could be an actual physical ailment. And just like we did with our hips, we're gonna draw awareness to this area with our inhale. And then as we exhale, we'll hopefully release something from that area. So from here, let your exhale fully come out. And then as you inhale, draw in energy to this area. As you exhale, releasing from this area. A few more times, inhale into this area. As you exhale, release from this area. Inhale energy into this area. As you exhale, release. Allow that awareness to go from that area. And then from here, we'll just soften into the feet, allowing the legs to release, allowing the hips to release, allowing the back to rest fully down onto the floor or the bed, allowing the shoulders to soften, the arms to be heavy at the sides, the hands release, allowing your stomach to be soft, allowing the space across your heart to soften, Allowing the neck and the throat to release, the jaw and the cheeks to be soft. Allowing breath to just freely move in and out of your nose as you allow sound to come in and out of the ears. Allowing the eyelids to be really heavy here, the space between your eyebrows to soften forehead and top of the head releases. And then we'll just allow ourselves one minute here to be in the experience of our body in this moment.
Starting to draw your awareness back to your breath. Starting to find any small movements in your fingers and your toes. And then if you wanna take a big stretch, you're welcome to take a big stretch or just making your way over to your right side, making a little pillow for your head with your inner arm. And then really feeling the earth underneath you as you press yourself up to a comfortable seat, resting the hands in a gesture of prayer over the heart, softening the eyes closed. Maybe feeling the benefits of a practice focused on the breath. Remembering that you can always take a breath on your own if you need it. And together as a community, we'll just take one final full inhale and one final full exhale. So let your exhale come all the way out. Through your nose, draw in breath. Through your nose, release your breath. Thank you so much for being here to practice with us today. Thank you, Grand Park, for having us. The light in me sees and honors the light in all of you. Thank you.